So today I did a fresh installation of Kubernetes cluster in my two old uh, Dell laptop. So on my master, I'm running on a Dell um, I'm running on an old Dell laptop uh, latitude uh, E6410. On my workload, I'm running on a Dell laptop inspiration M5110. So let me stop my Kubernetes cluster master node. Dash M is to give uh, the master node IP. Okay, start it. So let's see if the master node, okay, it's not ready, but uh, we just uh, wait a, a bit, it should be ready. Uh, in, in the meantime, let me copy the, let me generate the copy config for the workload. Yeah, I have this script. Give dash m to the master node IP. This my workload IP is one dot thirteen. So, so this is generate the uh, client certificate uh, for the workload and the copy config. Uh, as you can see here, uh, copy this uh, copy net uh, copy config and a copy proxy copy config uh, for the worker load so on the workload here let's start the workload workload dash m is the master node IP dash w is the workload IP Dash O is uh, for a pre-compiled Kubernetes binary. So let's see if the node is ready. Okay, as you can see, uh, workload is ready, uh, master node is ready, right? So let's uh, let's. Um, Deploy the deploy the copy final. Okay, let's get the node. Get the part for the copy final.
Okay, as you can see, two could be final, it's running on each uh, load. Now let's uh, uh, deploy um, uh, Nginx pod and services. Load port services. Okay, apply. Okay. Let's see the part. It's creating. Let's see uh, services. Injx services. So Injx services load port. Two container is creating on each uh, uh, two pod on each node. Okay, running. See, Injx uh, pod on each node. Let's see the see as you can see here cluster services uh, for the load port here we have, we have here right so this is uh, for Injx load port services uh, the port the port on the node is this this Okay, I want to see this. As you notice here, the load port services are listening on the two uh, IP address. One is my master node IP. Uh, one is another uh, IP. Uh, another IP. I have two network interface on the on a Dell, uh, Dell laptop. Uh, this is for the Wi-Fi IP. This is for the Ethernet IP. But for but it will create a load port services. It's also create the listener on the Wi-Fi interface. And uh, so, and uh, why is that? So in Kubi proxy. Let me show you how the Kubi proxy started. Cluster master start Kubi proxy. So this is how 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 Kubi proxy is started on the master node. Uh, notice that the so. The Kubi proxy will, uh, when it is startup, it will read this uh, Kubi proxy, Kubi dash proxy dot YAML file. And in this YAML file, you can specify uh, the configuration argument for the Kubi proxy. And uh, for example, the mode is for uh, what uh, proxy mode you want to run on. Uh, so you can run on the IP tables mode or uh, IPVS, which is an, a Linux kernel virtual server mode, and uh, so this this address, node port addresses, uh, you can specify a, a, a subnet a CIDR address here, which is uh, when you create a node port uh, services, uh, uh, the node port will listening on, on those IP addresses. Uh, so that's why. Uh, both my Ethernet interface and the Wi-Fi interface uh, is on this, this same subnet, so it's lit, uh, create a node port listener uh, on, on both uh, interfaces. Uh, if you don't have this uh, uh, node port addresses uh, argument uh, configuration, uh, the 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 copy proxy will and for uh, IPvS mode. 
the, it will create uh, all the listeners. It will create listeners on all the interfaces, network interfaces on your on your uh, uh, server, your master node, uh, which is uh, which is not a good. Uh, for example, uh, if you have uh, see uh, you have uh, if you have many uh, uh, network interface like this one is for my Ethernet. Uh, this this one is for my Wi-Fi interface. Uh, but uh, this one is virtual interface uh, for the IPVS, and um, and it will create. And this is uh, and this is for the Flano uh, VX9 interface. It will create all the list, the load port listener on all those uh, interfaces, uh, IP addresses, so which can be messy, and that's why you, uh, I specify, uh, the load port addresses here, uh, to uh, only only listening on, on those uh, IP address ranges, and uh, so the load port addresses take. Array of addresses, so you can push, uh, 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 you know, more uh, addresses here, uh, and uh, this is how you put in a YAML uh, configuration file. Uh, yes, so yeah, so I think next time. I'm going uh, so there's a lightweight lightweight uh, Kubernetes uh, 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 renit, uh, distribution come out. It's called a K3S. So okay, that's it's coming from Rancher Lab. Uh, K3S. Five less than K8S. Uh, this this is a lightweight Kubernetes that you can run on uh, 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 like Raspberry Pi or ARM uh, based uh, devices. So yeah, th this is a cool project and uh, it's open source. So I think next time I'm going to try this uh, on my uh, laptop. And uh, because I want to run both uh, Big IP Virtual Edition and uh, Kubernetes on on my laptop, and uh, but I need a lightweight Kubernetes, so I have enough resource for both uh, for the cluster and for the Big IP. Yeah.